Hi, I'm Perry Romanowski, and this is Hot Topics on Chemist Corner. In this series of videos, I'm going to look at things that I find interesting in the cosmetic industry and give you my two cents on them. I'm a cosmetic chemist, I'm a formulator, and have been for a couple of decades now. And I see things in the cosmetic and beauty industry that sometimes don't sit right with me. Um, and so I'd just like to talk about some of those topics. So we're going to kick this off today with the first one. I'm going to talk to you about cosmetic labeling and specifically the labeling that goes on on the list of ingredients. So cosmetic labels are a way for uh, beauty products to communicate information about their products and frankly they're they're labeled in a way to get you to buy them we have a product like this which has little pictures of coconuts it has your brand name it has a little description of it and some of that information is required by law in the United States I am a cosmetic formulator in the United States but things like the description of the product what it is uh, how much is in there and then on the back you're supposed to have the name of the distributor but one of the main things you have to have when you're creating a beauty product is the list of ingredients and there are specific rules for putting that list of ingredients and there's a thing that I've noticed that some brands do where they don't do it right they use their list of ingredients uh, for purposes other than they're supposed to so let me just give you the first thing your list of ingredients, the list of ingredients on your product is put there specifically to allow consumers to know exactly what's in the product and whether they should avoid it because they have an allergy to a specific ingredient. It really is about consumers and whether they have allergies. What it is not about, and it's a thing that I see uh, many companies do with their ingredient list, it's not about marketing. Your ingredient list is not where you should be marketing. The only thing that's supposed to go on your ingredient list are the official names of the chemicals that you use in your formulas. So when I see a, a brand like this, um, it is, this is a, a Moroccan lava argan oil product, right? It's a, a volcanic bath soak. Okay, that all the stuff here on the front is fine. But what I'm looking at here is their list of ingredients. And I read their list of ingredients. It says Moroccan lava clay, uh, baking soda with parentheses sodium bicarbonate, then Kalahari mineral salt, citric acid, Moroccan argan oil, uh, natural almond extract. So it's not a lot of ingredients. But these ingredients are not the right names. This ingredient list is wrong. You're not supposed to do this. The names of the ingredients that you're supposed to use are called uh, the INCI names. You get them from the uh, Dictionary of the International Nomenclature of Cosmetic Ingredients. This was first created by the uh, CTFA in the United States, but it has been adopted around the world and it's a way to make sure it's harmonizing all cosmetic ingredients so that wherever you go in the world, you're going to have a reasonable uh, idea about the ingredients that are in your product. So you have to, when you're, when you're naming your ingredients, when you're creating your list of ingredients, what you have to do is find out what the official INCI name of an ingredient is and use that name. And you're supposed to put them in in a specific order too. If it's one, if it's above one percent concentration in your formula, you're supposed to uh, list them in order of concentration. One percent or below, you can put it in any order. Although some places around the world, you have to put colorants at the end, and a lot of people end up doing that. But the point is, there are rules for the list of ingredients. And you're not supposed to put the word natural and you're not supposed to put Moroccan oil or Kalahari mineral salts. Those are not official names. Those are just confusing. You're not supposed to use your list of ingredients to market your product. Be a good citizen like this brand where they specifically, now they're all about natural and, and making, uh, making a story 
that's fine. Do that on the front, do that on the back, but outside your list of ingredients. For your list of ingredients, just use the right names. Um, don't put natural coconut oil, put the coconut oil name that you're supposed to use. Don't put where your ingredient was from. That stuff does not belong in the list of ingredients. The term organic does not belong in the list of ingredients. When you're labeling cosmetic ingredients, use the ingredient names from the INCI dictionary. This is what you're supposed to do and this is what I encourage everyone to do. All right, that's my two cents about cosmetic labeling. There really are rules. The cosmetic industry is regulated and you're not supposed to use your list of ingredients as a way to market your product. Market your product away from the list of ingredients. There's no problem with that. Just don't use your list of ingredients for marketing. That's against the rules. I'm Perry Romanowski, and this has been a hot topic from Chemist Corner. I look forward to talking to you about the next topic that really gets under my skin. <laughs>